Here we go. Ready? Oh, who's better than me? Yeah. Well, what's happening? It's like, I don't know, 7 o'clock at night. I got the rabbit cut on the um, on the uh, sides and rails, whatever, of the, um, the doors, okay? Check it out. You see how I just cut, there's a plunge cut here and here. You know, I just, you know, plunge it and I stopped it on the uh, table saw. 7 sixteenths inch, 7 sixteenths deep, inch and a half, inch and a quarter wide or something. So the next thing I need to do is cut the, uh, <laughs> the skull of shape on the bandsaw. And I'm really not too psyched about it, you know, I'm a little nervous, but that's alright. You know, no big deal. You just gotta have confidence in what you're doing, and then it's right, you know what I mean? And if it's not, no big deal. I don't have any more of this material. <laughs> so I'm just going to move the camera over here, turn on the machine, and now I get going. All right? What do you think? No. Well, that's basically it, guys. All right? That's it, dude. So what I need to do, all right? I'm just gonna go along and cut up this, do this door, probably clamp it up, glue it together, then I'll do the other one, all right? So hopefully, by the end of today, or well, tonight, when I leave here, I'll have these two doors clamped up and glued, so tomorrow all I need to do is uh, flush cut them. Alrighty, <clears throat> so might as well suck down some more espresso. <laughs> Alright guys, well you can see that I have the uh, shape cut on all four pieces of the door. Now the next thing I need to do is glue it together. And what I think I'm going to do by Steve's suggestion is, is to do one side first. I'm going to glue like the top and the bottom of the right side, clamp it together, make sure that this mite is tight. Then I'll take this piece off and I'll glue the other side. So I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna get to gluing it and we'll see how it goes. It's kind of cold in my shop, so I don't know. I'm not feeling all that great about leaving this thing clamped overnight, but it'll be all right. I'm just gonna have to turn the heat on and forget about it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now again, you don't need a ton of glue on, on these surfaces, guys. You know. So you just put a little in the mortise. Oh, another good thing is to make sure that you don't have any crap on your uh, on your uh, little brush here. You know, clean it off because you don't want these hairs getting in the glue. At least I don't. You know what I'm saying? So peel this thing off pretty good. And make sure that none of the stuff's going to come out of there. Some people cut them with scissors or do this or do that, but whatever. You know what I mean? So here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm a little nervous to be honest with you, but it's okay. No freaking problem. This door is gonna be really unbelievable. Wait till you guys see it. You're gonna be proud of me. So this is it guys, you know, just slapping the glue on. Trying to get put on there a little quick. Now I, I like to paint the, the end grain of this, of this stuff because at least when you squeeze it tight there's going to be some glue in there and if it doesn't fit perfectly you know, so I've heard because <laughs> you know it's going to be tight you know what I mean? Gotta be tight. Gotta be right. No two ways around it everybody. Has to be exacto mundo.
Oh, man. This is going to be really, really tight. All right, I got to move. I got to move it, move it. I got to move it. This can't stress out, man. It's only glue, you know? What's the hassle? No big deal. No big whoop. All right, I'm nervous. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to mess this up. I'm a little scared, everybody. Someone come hold me. <laughs> hey, man. This is what it's all about. Not cracking under the pressure, right? No cracking under the pressure, everybody. No sweat. I'm tremendously strong, I must say. Hey, remember when I was doing the uh, pigeon assembly? <laughs> And I screwed it up, that would have been big. That's nothing compared to what this would be like. Gee Willigers. Wow, is that tight. I got to move it, move it. <laughs> I don't know why I have this to the song right. I got to move it, move it. I got to move it. All right, stress level's rising. It's gotta go in there. It's got to go. Right? Right? Oh, this is the way it goes, everybody. I know, this is the way it goes. Man, is that joint tight? Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah, baby! All right, I'm gonna flip out, so I gotta shut the freaking camera off before I do something I regret. Well, I figured I'd leave it off for good entertainment, anyways. Holy crap, hole, man! Socks. Stressing me right the f out. It's okay. That's just unbelievable. That's why I do it. Who gives a f I'm sweating my f off? It's like 20 degrees in here. I can just double stick tape all that afterwards anyways. Don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. Okay, so the glue's drying, right? And you just gotta not freak the fuck out, okay? You wanna tighten up this joint as best you can. And then you wanna slide this other joint tight. A light. And then you wanna square it. No problem. All within the time that it takes the glue to freaking dry. Mr. Powers. Oh yeah. I too like to live dangerously. All right, now this is where it pays to go to the gym every day. Now you never want to clench friggin' tight, obviously. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to close up these multiple joints. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Perfect. Alright, now now that they're tight, I can loosen up on all the tension. Friggin' crazy. And then I can try to straighten it. Alright, sorry I'm swearing. A little stressed out, ladies and folks. <laughs> Teeth chisel. You know what I'm saying, homies? <sighs> 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 
So I got a letter from Haywood. Ha ha ha! wants to know what I'm doing after the show. Alright, keep your freaking fingers crossed. 42! And just under 16. It's not square. I know it isn't. This is just going to be a CH over. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, baby. See that crazy joint with the 45 on it? Now what I'm going by is the line, the pattern line that I drew on there when it was dry fit. You see what I'm saying? And that still looks good. You see? Now don't think that that's not tight. It is. It just needs to be plain. You know, because you can see that the line is still good and it's all tight. You get a squeeze out here. You know, same with this one. Well, yeah, there I am. It looks like it's open, but it's not. It's just green. You know, right there. It looks like it's open, but that's just a piece of black grain. See how it continues all the way through here? And same with this one right here. That was that. The thing's freaking square. Probably just going to check it here and there, a little at a time. Just make sure it's okay. It's not going to be racked or twisted or bowed. Just make sure it's flat. This thing's very, very important, you know? So I'm just going to spend a little time with this one, and then I'm going to get to cut it. Cutting the other one and then I'm gonna glue it up. So it's been a pretty good day overall. So if you have any questions, if you want to get into more detail about this stuff, just uh, go to the forum at bobvila.com, jot in your questions or your comments or your concerns or you know, give me crap about being a Celtics fan, Bruins fan, Red Sox fan. I don't care. If you think your hometown is better than this one, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> but hey man. You should have pride in your city, or town, wherever you're at. Alright, that's that dude.